Yes, Ma. I'll get it, Mom. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll find it. Quit calling me Mom. You're the Earl of Brinstead. Probably just carry with a potato salad. I'm free. I just want to tell you, it was mighty nice of you to come back and be your Earl for Ma after the way we treated you. That's quite all right, old chap. You can call me Paul if you like. Oh, thanks, Paul. Ah, what a season. I do hope Carrie hasn't overloaded her potato salad with onions again. All right, bring it in. How do you do, Mrs. Flout? <gasps> Faded. Put him in that chair. That's the trouble with these surprise visits, Mr. President. That's right. Should be all right. Oh, in now. In now. What's amiss, you chaps? What are you doing to Mrs. Floud? She's fainted. Oh, well, don't stand there. Get some water. Certainly. I'll tell Mr. Floud. There's been so much excitement here today. President Roosevelt's coming, and everybody's way up there. Oh, I'll give her a spot of that brandy. It's not very good, but it'll help her, I think. I th This here's my daughter, Aggie. How do you do? And this here is the Earl of Brinstead. Oh, oh, quite. And and this is our hostess, Mrs. Effie Floud. Wake up, Ma. I'm sorry, Mrs. Floud. I dropped in so unexpectedly. But we drove over from Broken Arrow. Guess I should have stayed on the official train. But I've listened to so many welcoming speeches on this trip, I was hoping to avoid the one at your depot. I hope you'll excuse our appearance, Mr. President. We were all out in the kitchen just fixing things up for you. He, yes, even the Earl, he, he's good at cleaning and polishing. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a matter of your democracy, sir. You know, when in Rome and all that sort of thing. <laughs> Aggie, take the President in the parlor till we get things fixed up in the kitchen. Please, let's not be formal, Mrs. Flower. Personally, I'd like to go out in the kitchen with you. Could I? You mean it? I make a steak sauce that is very popular in Washington. You do? Extraordinary. Learned it in Paris. Paris cooking. <laughs> well, you're our man. Gee, he's the nicest president I ever met. Back to the kitchen, everybody. Delighted. Bully for you. And to think I almost voted for Brian. I say, this is a ginger group, isn't it? <laughs> there we are. <clears throat> sure looks good, don't it? Give me some. I'm agog with anticipation. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wonderful. As you would say, Mr. President, Delicious. Thank you, thank you. I think it still needs a little more cooking, Sherry. Far? Gee whiz, Ma. I ain't had a drink since I was up on them hills and got bit by a rattler. <laughs> yeah, and Pa's getting too old to climb them hills. Agatha. <laughs> Perhaps another dash of Sherry wouldn't hurt. Oh, nonsense. And you keep your nose out of the President's recipe. I was just saying that in my opinion... Nobody's interested in your opinion. Oh, that's just your opinion. There was plenty of sherry in your cooking before we got married. Why, Mike Flout, are you insinuating that? Hey, Ma, if you'd use stronger sherry, I bet I'd be two years older. <laughs> you keep out of this. And you, Mike Flout, now, don't you want to start a thing like this? Now, don't start that doggone argument. Mrs. Flout, Mr. Flout. After all, the president is on his vacation. Do you want him to think he's back with Congress? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. President. Oh, I've heard discussions like this in my own kitchen. And I must say, my wife has convinced me that I have just as much right to her opinion as she has. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? <laughs> you mean the First Lady has the last word. <laughs> well put, Grinstead. And now we oh, melt uh, a little butter. butter oh, yeah, butter's yeah, right, right over here. here. Isn't he wonderful? Yeah, this whole Earl business makes me feel like a low-down... Oh, know, Grinstead! Uh, coming, sir! Tell me, Grinstead, what is the attitude in England regarding the Mediterranean situation? Oh, yeah. Well, the, well, frankly, there are two schools of thought, pro and con. Of course. But just how do they feel about it, pro and con? Well, the pro people seem to be for it, and the con group are definitely against it. Naturally. But you personally, Brinstead, just what stand do you take? Oh, me? Yes, well, well I'm pro. Why, Brinstead, how can you endorse a situation that can only lead to trouble? Well, uh, what I mean is I'm pro-con. I'm for those who are against it. <laughs> the train came in and he wasn't even on it. Me, a registered Democrat, waiting at the station for a whole hour. Had my speech all written out in longhand, too. And he never even shut. Jumping, Geosophon, it's him. Hey, where are you going? Uh, the committee's waiting.
banging on the front porch. Oh. There we go. Well, Brinstead, I guess we're in for it. But at least we made a good try. Well, it was ripping while it lasted, Mr. President. Shall we then? Hey, Ma, where's my collar and tie? Right there in the chasing days. Hey, Hurry up. Hey, Uh, Mr. President, as mayor of Big Squaw, permit me to welcome you to our fair city. Oh, bravo, bravo. Excellent oration. Brief but meaty. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you all. Oh, but Mr. President, there's a lot more. That's all right. You can mail it in later. Yes, everybody get a plate and pitch right into the food. Just move right round. It's free. You know, Aggie gets the credit for this venison, Mr. President. You shot it from over 200 yards away. Bully for you. That's good shooting. Thank you. How do you do? If I had the time, I'd like to do some hunting in your western hills. How oh, do you too do? bad. We have plenty of deer around here and bear, too. Very tempting. But my schedule calls for me to leave tonight. What we ought to have is a fox hunt. Oh, yes, they're fun, sure. I brought back some of the most wonderful hunting outfits from London. Fox hunt? What a wonderful idea. I could have arranged a wonderful fox hunt. It would even been a pleasure for the fox. Over Hill and Dale, hoy yikes in a way, tally ho and all that sort of rot. It's a shame you have to be going, Mr. President. I don't think I could rearrange my train schedule. Of course you can't. Too bad. Big Squaw would have talked about it for years. Yeah, a fox hunt. Huh. Bad show disappointing the hounds. By gad, we won't disappoint them. Instead, we'll have a fox hunt. Well, Bennett, we're staying over till tomorrow. Oh, See about the train. Yes, sir. Hooray! 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 And Brinstead can lead the hunt. Hooray! I might even start tonight. I... Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Hit it. Faster, boy. Come on, old paint. We can catch that fox. Hit it, boy. Hit it. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Okay, hold it, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not bad. Not bad there, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Now we'll try the horse. A real live horse? An animal? Yeah, here's old Bessie. Oh, be careful. Here's old Bessie. Get on, get the fee lover. Gentle as a kitten. Look at those teeth. Over 15 years old. I wasn't afraid she'd bite me. It's the part I sit on that I'm worried about. But here goes. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Mm -hmm. Lied about her age. Well, back to the barrel. Aggie, let's face it. I can't go out there riding in any fox hunt. Playing an earl was easy, but all I ever hunted was a job. But you gotta ride. The town's dependent on you. Yeah, let's say you convince me. Who's gonna convince the horse? Look, I'll teach you to stick in the saddle if we have to work here all night. No, Aggie, I've tried, but I'm just a living room earl. You'll have to get another boy for that rough stuff. I ain't asking you to try to ride for Big Squaw, or for Pa, or for Ma. But just for me. Me? I mean you? First time I saw you, I said to myself, here's a dirty, low-down, lily-livered coyote. Then, as I got to know you better, I figured you for a filthy, sneaking rat. I grow on people like that. But then again, you remind me of a little old chipmunk I had when I was a kid. Only thing I ever loved. Same look in the eyes you got. I'll never forget how he looked at me just before he went west. California? Dead. Card Belknap shot him. Did you tell Cart Belknap that we didn't mean a thing to each other? Not yet, but I was fixing to. Well, don't, because I don't like my women to be lying. You mean you aren't running out on us? Let me back on that barrel. Nothing's gonna stop me, maybe not even a horse. Uh, would you give me a little help here, oh. please? Leg up. Yeah, leg up. A little lower, please. Just a little lower. Chin up. That'll have to hold you till I catch the fox. Well, 